Good day and welcome to our short demonstration and explanation of how to set up quarantine notifications for your staff. So you may have received this email from Microsoft explaining that they're changing the way notifications are handled. And so you've got to make some changes if you want your staff to be notified that they've got stuff waiting for them in the quarantine. And by the way, this is uh, the second video in our very short series of two videos on how to set up uh, whitelists altogether. So in the previous video, which I'll put a link to in the top right hand corner right now, we explain how to properly whitelist domains, specific centers or content. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on with what we have to do here. First, launch yourself a nice browser and surf to portal.office.com. Now, yes, it's true that you could just go directly to the admin portal like security.microsoft.com, but it's just so much easier to go through portal.office.com for everything. If you're an admin, you'll have the admin icon on the bottom left, so click there, and then expand, and select security. Then click on policy and rules, policies and rules, I should say, and Let's just give you a quick overview. There are three things you need to do. First, you need to create a rule or a policy. Secondly, you need to apply the policy somewhere. And thirdly, you need to set the frequency of the notifications. So not very challenging, but it's a number of steps. It's really not obvious. So let's go through it. Click on threat policies and scroll all the way down to quarantine policies. There we go. Now I already have one made because of course I've been notifying people for years. Um, but I did update it a few days ago, so we'll just show you that. So, so I'll click Edit Policy, and you'll see I have to decide whether I want to give people limited access or I want to give them, you know, perhaps full access. So let's look. Limited access is pretty self-explanatory. They can see the quarantine but can't do anything with it. Specific access, yeah, that's probably what you want to do. In my case, I want to use Allow Recipients to Release the Message from the Quarantine. But I also don't mind if they flat out delete them and if they preview them and if they want to block a particular sender. That's just fine with me. You may choose differently. So let's click next. It's enabled. That's it. Submit. All right. That, by the way, took a very long time. I would say close to a minute, which I've cut out for you because, of course, you've got better things to do. Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to apply the policy. So let's go back to threat policies and go through your three categories here. Anti-phishing, let's choose that one first. Again, I've already got one set up. If you don't have one set up, you really need to set one up. So we're going to gloss the setting up of it, but it's not too far from self-explanatory if you don't already have one. So let's go through and take a look at mine. So it's all of the domains that I run and Yes, the spoof intelligence is on, but really what I need to do here is edit the actions to set that policy. So what I want to do is move the message to the user's junk folders. Now, if I had selected quarantine this message, that's when I would have the option to choose which policy I wanted here to apply. And by the one, the, one, the policy that we just built, I had labeled notify enabled policy. Clever name, huh? Okay, so, but in my case, I don't want to do that. I just want to junk it. So that's that one done. Let's go back to threat policies. Look at anti-spam. This is a little more of what you were probably expecting. Again, I already have a policy. I bore you with that. And it's edit actions. And again, I have it set here to quarantine the message. And I want the messages to show up on the notification email that gets sent out. And I want these to stay for 30 days. Now, here's a little trick. You see, this says the word bulk, and you think, that's, that was more than just bulk mail for spam. Yeah, it is. Scroll up. Yeah, see them all? So you got to go through all of these. This is where you want to go. You want to go into this and make sure that these are all set up as you expect. So spam, quarantine it, set the appropriate policy. High confidence spam, phishing, so on and so forth. Now, something we explained in our previous video was a change that uh, is coming into effect right now. So here is the big change. High confidence phishing and malware emails 
won't be delivered regardless of what policy you set. So if you say, yeah, I really want high confidence fishing and malware to come through because I know those guys or we're a security company and we, yeah, we, we get those kinds of things. Yeah, well, it just isn't going to happen. They're going to the quarantine. That's the end of it. Okay, so you get the policies right here, all happy. Again, save your policy. And now I'll go into anti-malware and I'll look at the policy that exists. And again, I'm looking for actions, edit protection. There it is. So the quarantine policy for malware is no, only admins get access to it, but I could let uh, people know that it's, the items have been quarantined. I don't want that, but you might want to, <laughs> right? You can check these boxes off and set whatever you want. Okay, so that's step two. Step two is applying the policy. But you might note that nowhere in here have we set how frequently this email goes out to people. So, well, where is that? Not very hard. Go back to policies and rules, the threat policies, go to quarantine policies, which is where we started, and select global settings. And you can set the display text, you can set any notice you want, language you want, and you can set the number of days that you want people to be notified. So in my case, every three days, my users receive an email that says, here's your giant list of things. Something that comes up a lot with our clients is the question of trying to set that notification to less than one day. We've had people say, no, I want a notice every time a specific message comes through, or in particular, I would like a message four or five times a day. And the answer is no, this routine will not do that for you. Now you could go write your own routine. That's a lot of work. Most people and most companies just aren't going to do it. So the short and reasonable answer is no, you cannot set the email alerts of things that are in the quarantine to be say every three hours or four hours or five hours. It's what day, one day minimum. Now my quarantine is huge. I receive anywhere between 50, to 100 plus messages in my quarantine every three days. And it's pretty accurate. I don't release very much. If you found this video useful, man, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like and subscribe is also really helpful with the Google algorithm. So that would be appreciated too. If you have any questions or concerns, just put them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you or somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks, like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help. 